Welcome Globetrotters to Kabuma Travel, your go-to destination for exploring the globe. Today, we're setting sail for the Emerald of the Equator, the Archipelago of Wonders, the incredible Indonesia. From the bustling streets of Jakarta to the majestic temples of Bali, Indonesia is a tapestry of cultures, landscapes, and flavors woven over more than 17,000 islands. Yes, you heard it right, 17,000, making it the largest island country in the world. How to get to Indonesia. Today, we're journeying into the how-tos of reaching this oasis of innovation and tradition. Let's dive in by air. Let's kick off with flights, the most common gateway for travelers heading to Indonesia. With major international airports like Sokarno Hatta in Jakarta, Ngura Rai in Bali, and Huanda in Surabaya, you're spoiled for choice. Most international airlines will have routes that take you to these hubs, often with a layover in places like Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, or Dubai, depending on where you're flying from. When booking flights, remember the early bird gets the worm, or in this case, the best deal. Start your search months in advance and use flight comparison tools to snag that sweet spot between affordable and convenient. And consider flying midweek for often cheaper fares. Now, don't overlook the visa. Many travelers can get a visa on arrival for up to 30 days, but always check the latest requirements for your specific country before you depart. And if you're planning a more extended stay, you may need to arrange your visa beforehand. By sea. For the sea savvy, there's another way to reach Indonesia's shores. By ferry. Yes, from neighboring countries like Singapore and Malaysia, you can embark on a maritime adventure that'll have you stepping onto Indonesian soil feeling like a modern-day explorer. It's scenic. It's exciting, but it's also subject to weather conditions, so plan accordingly, by land. Within Asia, if you're coming from places like Bangkok or Ho Chi Minh City, combining flights with land travel can sometimes save you some rupia. Budget airlines can take you to Singapore or Kuala Lumpur, where you can hop on a train or a bus and then a ferry to Indonesia. By train. When it comes to internal travel, Indonesia's vastness can be deceiving. Domestic flights can whisk you between islands, but for a more scenic route, check out the trains on Java or the ferries linking the islands. It's an excellent opportunity to slow down and soak in the views. Plus, it's kinder to your wallet. Once you're in Indonesia, transportation options abound. In cities, app-based ride-sharing services offer convenience and safety. For shorter distances, don't miss out on a ride in an auto rickshaw, known locally as bajaj. It's an experience. And let's not forget the backpacker's mantra, pack light, travel far. Indonesian weather is typically tropical, so lightweight clothing is key. But if you're venturing to higher altitudes or out at sea, layers are your best friend. Lastly, a pro tip, keep your camera at the ready, but immerse yourself beyond the lens. Indonesia is not just a destination, it's a plethora of experiences waiting to be felt, tasted, and lived. Best time to go to Indonesia. Now let's embark on a tropical timeline to find out the best time to visit the enchanting archipelago of Indonesia. Indonesia, with its equatorial climate, doesn't have your typical four seasons. Instead, it's split into two, the dry season and the wet season. Choosing when to visit can make all the difference in your adventure, so let's dive in. Wet season, November to March. First up, the wet season, which generally spans from November to March. This time of year is characterized by heavy rainfall, high humidity, and warm temperatures. While this might sound like a dampener, it's a lush period where the landscapes are in full bloom. For nature enthusiasts, this is the time when rainforests like those in Borneo and Sumatra are at their most vibrant. The catch? Be ready for sporadic downpours that could impact travel plans or outdoor activities. But fear not, the rains often come in short bursts and can provide a refreshing break from the heat. Dry season, April to October. Then we have the dry season, which typically runs from April to October. This is considered the peak time for tourism and for good reason. The weather is predominantly sunny and the seas are calmer, making it ideal for beachgoers, surfers, and divers flocking to Bali, Lombok, or the Geely Islands. If you're aiming for outdoor activities like hiking up Mount Bromo or Rinjani, the dry season offers the best conditions. The skies are clear, and the horizons are wide open for those sunrise selfies. Cultural aficionados take note. The dry season also coincides with many of Indonesia's vibrant festivals. 
Bali's famous Niepi or the Pasola War Festival in Sumba are spectacles not to be missed and are perfect for those who wish to delve into the heart of Indonesia's traditions. Shoulder seasons. But let's talk about the shoulder seasons, those sweet spots between the peak and off-peak times. April and May, then September and October, might just be the Goldilocks zone for visiting. The crowds thin out, prices can dip, and the weather is often a comfortable mix of occasional rains and sunny days. If you're planning to explore the less traveled paths, these months allow you to experience the daily bustle without the tourist bustle. You'll get more authentic interactions, deeper dives into the culture, and a personal feel of Indonesia's incredible hospitality. A little tip for the budget conscious, airfare and accommodation often see a drop in prices during the wet season and the shoulder months. A little bit of rain might mean more rupiah saved for adventures and souvenirs. One last whisper from the traveler's grapevine. No matter the season, Indonesia's 17,000 islands mean there's always a spot where the weather is just right. It's all about where you go and what you want to experience. Budget for traveling to Indonesia. When planning a budget trip, Indonesia is a shining gem. With a bit of savvy planning and insider knowledge, you can enjoy its tropical bliss without breaking the bank. Let's break it down, starting with transportation. Flights. This is likely to be your biggest expense. The trick? Book in advance and keep an eye out for deals from budget airlines. Once you land, domestic flights are surprisingly affordable, especially with local carriers. But remember, prices can soar during Indonesian holidays, so time your booking wisely. Boats and ferries. Indonesia is an island nation, and sometimes the only way to get around is by water. Ferry tickets are cheap and cheerful, but for longer journeys, consider an overnight trip. You'll save on a night's accommodation. Transport on land. Renting a scooter is not just budget-friendly. It's a way of life here. For around $1.05 a day, you have the freedom to explore at your own pace. Buses and shared minibuses called BMOs are also cost-effective, especially for longer distances. Accommodation. From hostels to homestays, Indonesia has a range of options. A dorm bed in a hostel can be as low as $10 a night, often including breakfast and Wi-Fi. If you're staying longer, consider bargaining for a better rate on a guesthouse or homestay. Food. Street food is where it's at for eating on a budget, with delicious meals costing as little as $1 to $3. Warungs, or small family-owned cafes, offer hearty local dishes at a fraction of the restaurant prices. And the bonus? It's some of the most authentic food you can find. Activities. Many of Indonesia's wonders are free to enjoy. Think beaches, hikes, and local markets. When it comes to paid attractions like temple visits or national parks, fees are relatively modest. Always carry your student ID if you have one. It can snag you a discount. Diving and snorkeling. Indonesia is a diver's paradise, but these activities can be pricey. Look for group deals or package offers, which often include equipment and maybe even a meal. Insurance. Don't skimp on travel insurance. It's essential. Factor it into your initial budget to avoid any financial surprises from unforeseen events. Tips for extra savings. Use local currency and avoid unnecessary fees by withdrawing from ATMs in larger amounts. Haggle at markets, it's expected. And lastly, carry a refillable water bottle to save on buying bottled water. Let's recap. Your Indonesian adventure doesn't have to be a lavish affair. With smart planning and these money-saving hacks, you can immerse yourself in the beauty of Indonesia without the fiscal fret. Best places to visit in Indonesia. Now we're embarking on an exhilarating virtual voyage to discover the best places to visit in the diverse and captivating country of Indonesia. Fasten your seatbelts as we jet off to the land of sapphire seas, emerald jungles, and golden sunsets. First stop, Bali, the island of the gods. This world-renowned paradise is a tapestry of vibrant culture, serene rice terraces, and some of the most spectacular beaches on the planet. In Ubud, the cultural heart of Bali, you can meander through the monkey forest and explore the traditional market. Don't forget the iconic temples like Tanalat, perched on a rock facing the Indian Ocean. Surfs up as we head to the southern coasts, where Kuta, Kangu, and Uluwatu offer waves for surfers of all levels. For a more laid-back vibe, the Gili Islands are a trio of tiny islands near Lombok, where horse carts rule the roads and the snorkeling is sublime. Next, we venture to the heart of Sumatra, where the lush greenery of the Gunung Loiser National Park awaits. It's one of the last places on Earth to see orangutans in the wild. Trek through the rainforest canopy, a world teeming with exotic wildlife, and wake up to the call of the gibbons. For those with a taste for adventure, the climb to the summit of Mount Bromo in East Java is non-negotiable. Witness the smoke billowing from the crater at sunrise, a surreal landscape that's straight out of a sci-fi flick. Culture vultures, Yogyakarta is your haven. The city is a treasure trove of art, history, and tradition. 
with the magnificent temples of Borobudur and Prambanan at its doorstep. Watch a traditional Ramayana ballet with the temples illuminated at night, a truly enchanting experience. Sailing east, Komodo National Park is an archipelago adventure where the fabled Komodo dragons roam. Beyond the dragons, the park's clear waters are a diver's haven, teeming with manta rays, turtles, and vibrant coral reefs. We can't skip over Raja Ampat, a group of islands in Papua, often hailed as the pinnacle of diving destinations. Above water, its jungle-covered islands are nearly mythical in their beauty. Underwater, the marine biodiversity is unmatched. For a change of pace, the metropolis of Jakarta offers a pulsing energy unlike any other. Dive into the history at the National Museum, or stroll through the old town for a taste of Dutch colonial history. Let's round off our tour in Flores, a place of stunning natural beauty. The mirror-like crater lakes of Mount Kelimutu change colors with the dawn, a spectacle that feels otherworldly. End your journey with a sunset on one of Flores' many pristine beaches. With thousands of islands, Indonesia offers a universe of potential adventures. Whether it's the allure of cultural spectacles, the call of the wild, or the tranquility of beachside bliss, this country has it all, best restaurants in Indonesia. Now we're going to take our taste buds on a tantalizing tour of Indonesia's finest dining experiences. So loosen your belts and ready your appetites as we reveal the best restaurants that Indonesia has to offer. First on our culinary map is the vibrant island of Bali, where the restaurant scene is as diverse as its landscape. We begin with Lokavore in Ubud, a place where the name says it all. Chefs Elki and Ray adhere to a Lokavore philosophy, creating modern, artistic dishes using sustainable local ingredients. It's Indonesian flavors with an elegant European twist, a gastronomic innovation not to be missed. As the sun sets over Semenyak, we step into Mera Puti, a restaurant that is a masterpiece of design and culinary arts. With towering ceilings and a menu that celebrates Indonesian cuisine from across the archipelago, dining here is both an aesthetic and gustatory journey. Now let's jet over to Jakarta, where Nusa Indonesian gastronomy awaits. Chef Ragil Imam Wibowo's mission is to take you through the rich tapestry of Indonesia's culinary heritage. Each dish here is a story, meticulously crafted to represent the flavors and traditions from the many islands of Indonesia. No culinary tour is complete without street food, and for that we visit Lara Jonggrang in the heart of Jakarta. This restaurant is part history lesson, part dining experience, with decor inspired by the ancient Javanese kingdoms and street food transformed into fine dining. Moving away from the hustle and bustle, we arrive in Bandung, where the restaurant at Padma Hotel offers a dining vista like no other. Nestled amidst lush hills, the panoramic views are as exquisite as the food. The kitchen serves a range of international dishes, but it's their take on Indonesian classics that truly shines. For those with a penchant for the avant-garde, Hujan Lokal in Ubud is our next destination. Chef Will Merrick has curated a menu that is a fusion of traditional recipes collected from the Indonesian archipelago, given a contemporary twist. Craving for a side of beach with your meal? Sundara at Four Seasons Resort Bali at Jimbaran Bay offers just that. This beachfront luxury dining spot serves up an innovative mix of Balinese and international cuisine. As you savor the grilled delights, the sound of the waves accompanies every bite. Back in the capital, Amuz Gourmet stuns with its French take on Indonesian ingredients. Situated in the cosmopolitan area of Jakarta, this chic Parisian-style bistro provides an intimate and refined setting where each meal is a culinary masterpiece. Lastly, for a breathtaking dining experience, Platarin Borobudur in central Java is set against the backdrop of the spellbinding Borobudur Temple. Enjoy the authentic Javanese cuisine as you take in the sweeping views of this historical wonder. And with that final spectacular sunset, our culinary journey concludes. From Ubud's innovative kitchens to Jakarta's bustling street food scenes, Indonesia's restaurants offer a diverse palette of flavors and experiences. Remember, the best way to explore a culture is through its cuisine, and we hope you've added these gastronomic gems to your must-visit list. Best Resorts in Indonesia. Now we're going to tour the creme de la creme of leisure and luxury, the best resorts in Indonesia. Pack your designer sunglasses and your desire for indulgence. We're about to step into paradise. First, we set our sights on the renowned island of Bali, where the Four Seasons Resort Bali at Sayan nestles among the treetops near Ubud. It's not just a resort, it's a spiritual haven that seamlessly blends with the surrounding jungle and rice terraces. Yoga on the Lotus Pond, a riverside spa treatment, and private villas with plunge pools await to transport you to a state of sublime tranquility. As we drift to the edges of Bali, the St. Regis Bali Resort in Nusa Dua stretches out on a white sandy beach that merges with the azure blue of the Indian Ocean. Here, luxury takes on a new dimension with its private villas, each with direct access to the beach, a personal butler service, 
and the famous St. Regis Sunday brunch that's the talk of the island. Moving off Bali to the tranquil shores of Sumba, an hour's flight east we discover Nihi Sumba. This eco-friendly yet opulent resort is a remote hideaway on an unspoiled island, known for its unique tribal culture and untouched landscapes. With activities like horseback riding on the beach and surfing one of the world's most coveted waves, Nihi Sumba offers an unparalleled island experience that's both wild and refined. Next, our journey takes us to Banyan Tree Bintan in the Riau Archipelago. Perched on hillsides and built on stilts, the villas here offer panoramic views of the South China Sea, enveloped by ancient rainforest. Golf enthusiasts will revel in the 18-hole championship golf course, while spa aficionados indulge in award-winning treatments. Back to Bali, but this time to the Jimburan coast, where Ayana Resort and Spa boast majestic sunsets and an exclusive clifftop location. The highlight here is the Rock Bar, where you can sip on signature cocktails while the horizon paints a myriad of colors over the ocean. No list would be complete without mentioning the Hanging Gardens of Bali. Located in the heart of the jungle and famous for its iconic infinity pool that appears to float above the treetops, this resort provides seclusion and spectacular views over the Ayang River. For those seeking a blend of Dutch colonial charm and Javanese allure, the Phoenix Hotel Yogyakarta M Gallery by Sofitel in Java is a heritage hotel that offers a nostalgic journey into Indonesia's historical past, complemented by modern comforts and exemplary service. Lastly, in the unspoiled corner of Northwest Lombok, the Oberoi Beach Resort, Lombok, presents an intimate and peaceful retreat. Its traditional architecture, open-air dining, and sprawling beachfront provide a serene escape, perfect for recharging the soul. Across the Emerald Islands of Indonesia, these resorts are more than just places to stay. They are destinations in themselves, offering once-in-a-lifetime experiences and unforgettable memories. We hope you're inspired to immerse yourself in the elegance and serenity these Indonesian resorts have to offer. Natural Beauty of Indonesia Now we're going to dive into the lush and vibrant natural beauty of Indonesia. With over 17,000 islands, this Southeast Asian gem is a treasure trove of biodiversity and spectacular landscapes. So, lace up your hiking boots and fill your lungs with the fresh air of adventure. Our first stop is the enchanting island of Sumatra, home to the Kerinci Sablat National Park. It's a realm where tigers roam and rare rhododendrons bloom. Venture through its misty rainforest to uncover hidden waterfalls and the serene Lake Gunung Tuju, nestled within an ancient volcanic crater. As we journey eastward, the Komodo National Park beckons. Beyond its famous dragons, the park is a sanctuary of marine diversity. The coral triangle beneath the waves is a kaleidoscope of life, with more than a thousand species of fish and hundreds of corals. Above water, the pink sands of Padar Island offer a panorama that's out of this world. In Bali, the verdant rice terraces of Tagalalang are a testament to human harmony with nature. These emerald stairways, crafted with an ancient irrigation system known as Subak, are not only functional but a breathtaking sight that epitomizes the island's natural beauty. Next, we ascend to the mystical heights of Mount Bromo in East Java. Witness the ethereal beauty of its crater against the backdrop of a starlit sky. As dawn breaks, the sun casts its golden hues across the sea of sand, a dramatic landscape that captivates and awes in equal measure. No exploration of Indonesia's natural wonders would be complete without a visit to Raja Ampat. This archipelago, located off the northwest tip of Bird's Head Peninsula in West Papua, is often lauded as an underwater paradise. Above the sea, its jungle-covered islands soar out of the turquoise water, forming a natural labyrinth of unparalleled beauty. The heart of Borneo beats with ancient rhythms in the Tanjung Puding National Park. It's a place where orangutans swing through the rainforest canopy, a spectacle that's both humbling and thrilling. Glide down the Sakanya River and experience an untouched world where the call of the wild is the only soundtrack. In Sulawesi, the Tagian Islands are a cluster of untouched jewels, with dense forests, crystal clear waters, and communities of Bajau sea gypsies. The islands offer an escape into a serene natural sanctuary. Dive into the tranquil waters to explore a mesmerizing underworld of marine life. For the intrepid traveler, the untouched lands of Papua's Baliam Valley provide a glimpse into a way of life unchanged for thousands of years. Surrounded by towering mountains, it's a place where indigenous traditions thrive amidst some of the most breathtaking landscapes Indonesia has to offer. Finally, the sacred Mount Agung in Bali, revered as the abode of the gods, stands guard over the island. Its slopes and surrounding forests are a haven for trekkers looking to witness the majesty of Bali's highest point, a spiritual pilgrimage merging with the natural splendor. This has been just a whisper of the symphony of natural wonders that Indonesia has to offer. 
From the depths of its seas to the peaks of its volcanic mountains, the country's landscapes are a testament to the beauty and power of the natural world, art and architecture in Indonesia. Now we're going to embark on an exquisite journey through the rich tapestry of Indonesian art and architecture. With a cultural mosaic that spans thousands of islands, Indonesia's artistic expressions and architectural wonders are as diverse and dynamic as its people. Let's begin in the cultural heart of Bali, Ubud, where art thrives in every corner. Here, the Puri Lukisan Museum houses a collection that takes you through the evolution of Balinese painting and wood carving. From the classical Kaumasan style to the revolutionary Pitamaha Artist Guild, Ubud is where the spirit of Balinese art continues to flourish. Venturing to the island of Java, we find the majestic Borobudur Temple. This 9th century Mahayana Buddhist temple is not only an architectural marvel, but also a masterful canvas of two million stone blocks that narrate the life of Buddha. As the world's largest Buddhist temple, it is a harmonious marriage of man's artistic prowess and spiritual quest. Nearby, the Prambanan Temple Complex rises majestically against the Javanese sky. This Hindu temple dedicated to the Trimurti represents the essence of Hindu architecture with its pointed shakaras and intricate bas reliefs depicting the Ramayana epic. It's a testament to Indonesia's religious and cultural diversity. As we sail eastward, the lesser-known Sumba Island reveals its unique Marapu culture. Here, the tall, peaked roofs of traditional Sumbanese houses known as Umam Batangu represent not only a unique design, but also the connection between the ancestors and the living. The intricate Iket textiles with their symbolic motifs weave stories of the island's myths and beliefs. No exploration of Indonesian art would be complete without a look at its textile arts. In the regions of Sumatra, the hand-woven songket reflects the community's wealth and status, while in Taraja, the rich red-hued wood of Tongkonan houses are adorned with detailed carvings and buffalo horns, symbolic of family lineage and social standing. In the bustling city of Jakarta, the National Gallery of Indonesia stands as a sentinel of the country's contemporary art scene. Exhibitions here span from traditional to modern, showcasing the evolving narrative of Indonesian artistry and its place in the global art scene. The architecture of Indonesia is not bound only to its historic monuments, but is also alive in the daily sanctuaries of the Balinese family compounds. These residential compounds, or Angkul Angkul, with their distinct Hindu philosophy, are a serene choreography of pavilions, gardens, and courtyards that invite both the divine and the family spirits to reside in harmony with the living. In the craft villages of Indonesia, the art of woodworking is preserved by skilled artisans. The famous Jepra wood carvings from central Java are not only a craft, but a legacy passed through generations, with each piece telling its own story of cultural heritage. And as the sun sets on the tranquil shores of Bali, the Tanalat Temple stands as a silhouette against the twilight sky. This iconic sea temple, perched upon a rock, is a cultural icon blending the natural elements with sacred architecture, symbolic of the Balinese philosophy of Trihita Karana, the harmony between humans, nature, and the gods. This is but a glimpse into the artistic soul and architectural splendor of Indonesia. From its sacred temples to its vibrant textiles, every art form and structure is a chapter in the archipelago's storied past and its bold, creative future. Tradition and Festivals of Indonesia Now we're going to immerse ourselves in the vibrant traditions and festivals of Indonesia, a country where cultural rituals and communal celebrations are as diverse as the archipelago itself. Our first stop is Bali for the enchanting Galungan Festival. This 10-day event symbolizes the victory of Dharma over Adharma, or good against evil. Watch in awe as the island transforms with Penjor, tall decorated bamboo poles lining the streets. It's a visual feast culminating in a day of feasting, dance, and traditional music. Next, we travel to central Java for the world-renowned Borobudur Temple during Vesak Day. As the full moon rises, thousands of Buddhist monks clad in saffron robes join pilgrims in a solemn procession up to the temple. The air fills with chants and prayers as they celebrate the birth, enlightenment, and passing of Buddha. The shores of Lake Santani in Papua become a riot of color during the Lake Santani Festival. Canoes adorned with unique motifs parade on the water, while the rhythmic beat of drums and the jubilant sounds of the Papuan songs echo through the air. It's a celebration of the indigenous culture, art, and the lake's bounteous beauty. Experience the drama and excitement of the Pasola Festival in Sumba. This ancient war ritual involves rival teams of horsemen throwing wooden spears at each other in a mock battle, a thrilling spectacle believed to ensure a successful harvest. It's a display of equestrian skill and tribal honor steeped in tradition. As we venture into Bali's hinterland, the tranquil silence of the Tenganan village breaks once a year during the Pirang Pandan. 
This age-old tradition sees village men dueling with bundles of pandan leaves as swords and shields made from rattan. It's a ritual of blood and honor to the gods, showcasing a mix of pain and pride, followed by communal healing. Not to be missed is the Sekatan Festival in Yogyakarta, celebrating the birth of Islam's prophet Muhammad. The festivities are a blend of Javanese and Islamic traditions, featuring vibrant fairs, markets, and the mesmerizing sounds of the gamelan Sekatan, music so sacred it's only played during this festival. The Balian Valley Festival brings the highlands of Papua to life. Here, different tribes come together for a celebration of dance, pig feasts, and the dramatic mock tribal warfare. It's a unique opportunity to witness the unity and heritage of the Papua Highland tribes. Finally, witness the solemnity and spectacle of Nyepi, the Balinese Day of Silence. For 24 hours, the island shuts down, the streets empty, and the sky darkens as all lights are turned off. It's a time for self-reflection and a unique experience for any traveler, a profound silence that speaks volumes. These festivals and many more illustrate the rich tapestry of Indonesia's heritage, a fusion of ancient rituals and contemporary celebrations that pulse with the heart of its people. Each festivity is a doorway into the soul of this fascinating country. Conclusion As the sun dips below the horizon, painting the skies above Indonesia with a palette of fiery oranges and gentle purples, we come to the end of our captivating journey across this incredible archipelago. Here at Kabuma Travel, we've traversed volcanic landscapes, lounged on pristine beaches, and wandered through ancient temples that whisper tales of bygone eras. Indonesia, a nation of islands strung like pearls across the equator, has revealed to us its multitude of faces. Each island, a unique gem, has its own story, culture, and heartbeat. From the rhythmic chaos of Jakarta to the serene spiritualism of Bali, from the untamed wilderness of Sumatra to the vibrant coral gardens of Raja Ampat, Indonesia is a symphony of experiences. We've celebrated with the locals, witnessing the spectacle of their festivals and the sacredness of their rituals. We've tasted the rich flavors of Indonesian cuisine, each dish a testament to the country's history, influenced by waves of traders, settlers, and colonists. We've seen the artistic expressions of Indonesia, the meticulous craftwork, the elegant dances, and the intricate architecture that form the vibrant tapestry of its cultural heritage. We've learned that art here is not just a form of expression, but a way of life, infused with the spirituality and natural beauty that abound. Our adventures through Indonesia's natural wonders have left us in awe. The country's lush rainforests, majestic mountains, and breathtaking underwater worlds have shown us the power and beauty of the natural world, inspiring us to cherish and protect these treasures for generations to come. As we reflect on the memories made and the lessons learned, it's clear that Indonesia offers more than just a getaway. It presents a world of contrasts and a fusion of traditions and modernity, where the ancient and the contemporary exist side by side. It challenges us to explore not just the land, but also the depths of our own curiosity. For those who have traveled with us in spirit through these videos, we hope the spark of Indonesia has been ignited in you. Perhaps in its stories, you found whispers of your own. And maybe, just maybe you've fallen under the spell of its enchanting isles, finding yourself yearning to step onto its shores and explore its vast, wondrous horizons in person. As our series on Indonesia concludes, we at Kabuma Travel extend our deepest gratitude for allowing us to be your guide through this remarkable country. May the spirit of Indonesia, with its warmth, beauty, and resilience, remain with you, inviting you to return, to explore, and to discover even more. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. Keep traveling, keep exploring, and remember, the world is waiting for you, just beyond the horizon. Until we meet again, Salamat Jalan, safe travels.